and Zooktronic. Uh, now we're going to do a quick unboxing or untubing, if you will. New Hawk Henry's flute I've got in. So let's take a look and see what we got. Okay, so fresh out of the tube. Nice, uh, nice little flute bag here. Felt the drawstring. Cool. Um, you know, I noticed this last time. Uh, this is my second flute from Hawk. And one of the things he does, this is pretty cool, just with the uh, unwrapping experience. <laughs> uh, sometimes it can be hard to get the tape off, but he, he does these little tape tabs and uh, kind of shows you which way to pull. So that's just a nice little touch. Okay, so what we got here <clears throat> um, I believe this is maple and or the main wood with some cedar accents, red cedar block uh, ring and I'm not sure what the mouthpiece is. I'll have to look that up and, and let you know. Um, this is a little bit different um, kind of flute. This is a di diatonic scale. And if you know about Hawk Henry's, his uh, tuning method is a little bit different. It doesn't strictly rely on, on a Western style tuner. So we'll see what we get here. Um, and I'll put it on the tuner when we come back and take a, a deeper look at this. Uh, but just fresh out of the box, let's uh, see what we got. Yeah, so first scale, um, there you go. Diatonic is just a ma your major scale. Um, so going straight up there, sounds pretty much in tune with itself. The only thing I would say is, is it the fourth note? That one right there, so that's, um, uh, let's see if this was, it's not in the key of C, but if it was C, it'd be C, D, E, F. So the fourth um, seems a little bit sharp of, uh, say, an equal temperance scale, so I have to back off just a bit to pull that down to tune. Okay, um, second octave there kind of tops out around the fourth. And I'm, I'm sure you can get uh, a few extra harmonics and stuff, so we'll, we'll definitely play around with that later too. So, um, as you may know from, so this is a Native American style flute, um, slow air chamber and block. Uh, so that can, what that configuration does for you, and also with a bit wider bore, um, you're not going to get a full second octave like you would, say, with a wooden whistle, uh, which doesn't have the slow air chamber. So that's kind of the trade-off you get, um, is a little bit less of a, of a second octave, um, but you get that great nav tone uh, throughout the range that it does have. Cool. All right, I'll see you back in a few and we'll take a deeper dive into this. Hey, welcome back. It's been a few days since I recorded that unboxing video, so I wanted to take another look at uh, this new Hawk Henry's flute. 
Um, once again, this is a diatonic scale, which means major scale. Uh, put it on the tuner, and what this is playing for me is pretty close to a G sharp. Um, it's a little bit flat of that, so if I set my pitch reference to um, an A equal 432 hertz, then it plays pretty pretty close to that pitch reference. So uh, that's the easiest way for me to think about this. Uh, so today we're just going to do a quick comparison between this flute and uh, my other hawk flute, uh, which is a more uh, traditional NAF tuning, uh, kind of the A minor uh, style tuning, and also take a look at my G sharp whistle and kind of compare how those look. So it's just to uh, kind of reacclimate, let's hear what this sounds like. And the other thing I discovered playing around with this, I, I think I said last time about uh, certain notes seeming a little bit sharper flat to, to my ear. And what I, um, way I'm thinking about this, this is kind of a different temperament, if you will. So if you're really used to uh, 12 tone equal temperament, um, and you get hold of an instrument that's not tuned that way, something sometimes your ear will try and trick you. Um, but if you look at something like a just temperament, and this isn't exactly a just temperament either, um, but if you look at that kind of a system, um, certain intervals are sharper flat of 12, 12 tone, or 12 tone equal temperament. Um, so that's why it's important with these kind of flutes to really listen um, with your ear and kind of adjust pitch as you go, because um, you can make things you know, sweeter or rougher depending on um, how you're hearing things. So it's just really important to, to listen. All right, well, let's take a quick listen to my other flute. This is key of A. So you can see if I line up the um, true sound holes here, see the difference there. Um, so obviously it's a higher key, so it's, it's going to start higher. It's, even, it's going to start even higher because the first interval here is the minor third. First interval here is the um, major second, right? So this is a larger interval, so you're going to start higher on the tube. And of course, you're going to go higher on the tube just because of, um, just because of the pitch difference. That's kind of interesting. If you look at, um, if you line the holes up, actually not all that different. <laughs> um, obviously the hole sizes are different. Placement is about the same. So you kind of see that uh, some of the differences there. All right, let's take a look, listen to this one. And what I'll do is I'll play um, a major scale on this one, even though it's a typically a minor flute. So I'll play a major scale on this, and it's going to sound um, higher in pitch than the other one, but uh, we'll see how that sounds. Now for something completely different. <laughs> this is also a G-sharp diatonic instrument. This is a whistle. Uh, this is and obviously very different um, construction and materials. It's a carbon fiber whistle, so um, this ain't gonna sound nothing like the other two. <laughs> Um. 
obviously very different instruments. Um, if you had to have that upper octave, um, upper second octave, then you'd reach for the whistle. Um, if you want a little quieter, softer tone, uh, reach for this guy. So um, I think that's enough. That'll give you a good idea. And um, I've already got my first song picked out. We're going to try and record it here, and we'll uh, get that posted for you soon, too. Thanks.